Melbourne has recently been voted one of the most livable cities in the world. So what a perfect place to have a hackathon. The atmosphere here at the MasterCard ITS Smart City Hackathon is awesome. We have 82 attendees from all over Australia. We have software developers, we have front-end developers, we have back-end developers, we have designers, we have entrepreneurs. The winning formula for the Grand Challenge is going to be a combination of great idea, creativity, but above all, good tech and something that could be realisable and actually change the lives of people in Melbourne or any other city around the world. It is 11 a.m. and that means the hackathon has begun! This is a very exciting challenge. They've got access to lots of diverse data that previously wasn't made available. So I'm really looking to see how they bring that data together. Think laterally, but also holistically. So sustainability is really important. There's many factors to that. So I'm really interested to see what creative solutions they come up with, and hopefully we can implement them. No, we got time. In order to keep people moving in a growing city like Melbourne, we need to make smarter use of the networks that we have. We're really proud to be supporting the Smart Cities Hackathon today because it's going to bring together the right information and tools to help consumers make smarter decisions about when, where and how they travel. What we're looking for are multimodal transport apps that are going to help more Victorians move from A to B safely, efficiently and seamlessly, regardless of the mode or the combination of modes that best suit their needs. What I'm hoping to see is some really new exciting ideas from young people who are using transport all the time but uh, maybe it's not meeting their needs. So the combination of traditional transport data from public transport and others along with the MasterCard shopping data I think gives us a chance to get some really good new ideas. I don't know about having our speed limit data, our road closure data is the authoritative source in the state and hopefully there will be some really good uh, concepts come out of it and we'll work with these into the future. Public transport are enthusiastic about the ITS hackathon, one of the reasons being that we support open data and the development community. Um, we've been involved in a number of hacks in the past and we're really looking forward to this one because of the calibre of developers that have been involved. We're still down to the wire trying to get some last bugs fixed. We it's hacked right. right through the night. It's the overnight, it's the long hours that it's really the defining bonding moments. Stakes are high and we obviously want to win the money so we're going to be coding through the night. Uh, see how we end up at 1pm tomorrow. If they take all these beautiful bits um, of data from yeah, us going about our everyday lives, use that metadata to be able to, say, predict the future. Gentlemen, the hackathon is done! Give it up! They're the first ever winner of the ITS MasterCard Smart City Hackathon. Geolicious, come on down! It feels pretty amazing to win. Um, you know, 10 grand is a lot of money. The, the idea was pretty spontaneous. So we got together on Friday, had a few drinks, and decided that this might be something that, that we could do. But yeah, it was a great, great event.